What is going on, everybody? It is the one and only Q from Retro Q Game. I'm back at it as always. Here we are for E3. Our good old E3 2019. You know what? We're missing something. Boom. That's what we're missing. And here we are, 20 minutes before start time. So we're going to get going a little bit early so we can talk about what's going on prediction wise and whatnot. I'm going to be adjusting the volume on the fly as always hopefully we'll we'll know if it's too good too big too loud too low too whatever but anyway that's beside the point welcome 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 so what do we have the probably only conference i can get tonight i may have to readjust that it might be a bit too big but we have xbox e3 now this one is especially interesting this year because microsoft have made a big move and a big push to PC gaming, which is great. That's fantastic. I can't, I can't wait for that. There's so, so much good shit in it. So, we got to see what's up. What am I expecting this year? Well, Microsoft have already said that there's going to be 14 new games that they should show off. Are they brand new stuff we we know about? Are they brand new stuff we don't know about? Is it stuff that we expect? what's happening we don't know but chances are i'm i'm going taking random games that i can think of here gears 5 halo infinite maybe halo reach maybe master chief collection pc what else could we have new forza game i think the last one was forza uh, forza horizon game so i think this would be forza motorsport whatever the alternate version is i can't remember what came out last year i don't play a forza so that's five cuphead dlc i'm expecting as well or possibly I doubt they'd have Cuphead too. He's probably just looking at Cuphead. Wait a second. Okay. No. So what else could they have? Uh, I don't know. They could have. There's supposed to be a new Fable and all in there too. Let's see. Haha. <laughs> okay. There we go. I will drop the music a little bit more. Paul, that's why you're here. I need you and everyone else to help me adjust these volumes, mainly because everything is all over the place in this regard. So, what do I think on Google Stadia? I think it's an absolute flop. I think it's going to be an absolute disaster, and I think Stadia is going to be an absolute mess, and it will probably be gone within a year. That's the way I expect it to go. The Microsoft-Sony partnership, I... I'm, I'm not hugely surprised by because the Microsoft Sony partnership is the kind of thing that these companies are doing anyway they're just doing them at a corporate level so they're not they don't seem to be involved in the, the public eye so this is the kind of stuff that we expect anyway I know like a perfect example of that is Sony as a bigger company it already works with Microsoft and then just because they're such a big company and it, it's so high up in that regard that the PlayStation division weren't even aware of it because they don't need to be because it, it's corporate level stuff it's stuff that the the playstation division have no need to interact with so i mean it, it's all it, we will see how it goes anyway <laughs> by, oh, by oled <laughs> nice name change well let's see what we got here imagine microsoft announced a pokemon game for the xbox one x now if if they announced pokemon sword and shield for Xbox One X, I would be balling like the balling so hard like the mayor at that point. Because could you imagine Pokemon not trapped on crappy little hardware? That would be amazing. 4K, 60 frames per second Pokemon. Hell yeah! Give me it all day, every day. But what else do we know, or what else do we expect? Well, we might see the. Then we might see a tease or a slight announcement or something like that of the new Xbox, the Project Scarlet or whatever it's going to be called. Because if you remember when the Xbox One X was coming out, like a year and a half in advance, they went and said, hey, you know, we're going to have the most powerful console in the world a year and a half from now. So they could do it again this way with the Xbox One or Xbox 2.4, as I like to call it. But... There's also the talk of a completely updated and refreshed Windows 10 store, which I really, really hope is true because the current Windows 10 store is absolute dirt. 
think it's about a 90 minute show. That sounds about right because I saw an announcement or a report that said it would be under two hours. So I'm expecting somewhere between an hour and a half and two hours. So that's all good. I'm I'm in for the long haul at that point. Uh, Xbox Game Pass coming to PC. We already know about that. It's technically leaked a little bit earlier today. And if everything we've seen that's leaked about it is true, it's, believe it or not, as much as I don't like subscription services, it's actually a really good deal in relation to that. Because on PC, on Xbox One, it's, I think it's $15 a month or $10 a month or something. On PC, it's five euro or five dollar, uh, five dollars for euro a month. So, now, uh, you know, I'm not a big fan of that, but it works either way. Uh, I don't know, I, what are we going to see? I know that Microsoft are going to talk more about their upcoming stuff on PC. Especially along the lines of games coming to Steam and non-UWP games coming to Windows 10 Store, which could explain the alleged super refresh and ground up rebuild of the Windows 10 Store that kind of leaked earlier today, as well as the changes that they've made just the other day on the Xbox app on Windows 10. Um, other than that, what do I want to see? There's rumors that two great JRPGs, or one great JRPG and one potential great JRPG have already pre-leaked. Tales of Arise from Bandai Namco, the new Tales of game, supposedly coming to Xbox One, PS4, and PC. That's tipped to be released tonight or announced tonight in this show, which is great. I believe Tales of Vesperia Remastered was also announced at Xbox last year. So that's good too. Uh, Nino Kuni Rat of the White Witch Remastered, if you are lucky enough to have an Xbox One, a PS4, or a PC that runs even mid-range hardware, you get a proper remaster version of that. If you have a Switch, unfortunately, you just get a basic PS3 port. That's supposedly also going to be unveiled tonight as well. We don't know if it is just yet, but other than that, I also want to see that Gears Tactics game. Don't forget about that. I've, I love XCOM-style games. I love strategy games, and Gears... Gears Tactics, or whatever the final name, if it's not Gears Tactics, is going to be. That one really interests me, and I can't wait to see that. Uh, at least see more of it, anyway. Let's see what we got here. We only... <laughs> I, you, you got me, Paul. You got me. I'm only here for the Elite Controller 2.0 for 400 of my, my crazy European Euros. You, you got me. You got me. I want an Xbox One Elite Accessibility Controller. That's what I want. Give it to me for 777 euro. Give me any of those numbers. Give me 333 euro. Give me 666 euro or 777 euro. I know I keep looking over there. That's where my chat is. But it's it's good stuff. Anyway, but more importantly, what else could we actually see for this? I don't know. I, I Obviously, I want to see. A, one thing I'm really, really hoping for is... I want them to. Sh I know they're going to show off some more ha Halo Reach and Halo Master Chief Collection on PC, and with the closed flighting and all that, the beta testing, I want them to just be able to say, "Oh, and it's available right now," and then as soon as the stream ends, I download it and I play it. That's what I want to see. Let's see what else we got here. Can't wait for the new Gears and the new Halo and original content from Microsoft. <laughs> the a real original. Yeah, it's it's true, Bieber, but. That's what we're hoping for. Microsoft have 14 games to show off tonight. 14 game, I believe it was 14 games to announce. I don't remember their exact wording on it. So it might be 14 new games we we haven't seen yet. It might be four ga 14 new games that uh, are coming soon. Or we have to see how it goes. But yeah, I, uh, I, I'm right there with you on that dig. Don't worry. And what up, Nick? Welcome. You're on time, I see. So we still have another 11 minutes. But... What else What else could there be from this? There, There's more than likely new Fable. There's those new Gears games, new Gears 5, new Gears Tactics, and there's Gears Pop, but I'm not really going to talk about that. Uh, Halo, Halo Infinite, Halo Master Chief Collection, Halo Reach. Uh, what else do we have? Cuphead DLC could be hanging out there. Did that second Ori game come out in the end? There was Ori in the Blind Forest, and then Ori... I think it was Will of the Wisp or something. I I don't remember if that one actually came out in the end or not. We'll see. But I don't know. I, I'm expecting with all those new studios Microsoft bought last year, they bought, what was it, five new studios for E3 and then two more either just before or just after. So I'm expecting to see some of their games 
or at least announcements of their games. Now, here's the caveat I've always put on their new studios and all stuff. Obviously, the Xbox One is a complete write-off, and even Microsoft... And, oh, oh, Beaver, how could you do me like that with the audio? Don't worry, I'm using different software tonight. We should be good. But... Uh, I've always said that a big caveat with those studios that they're that Microsoft bought, if they put them working on a brand new game day one, let's say they bought them at, at their exact E3 conference last year, and they put them on a game day one, you're looking at about three years. Be sorry, let me rephrase that. You're looking at about three years before uh, a good quality game at its bare minimum could come out, and that would be 2021. We're in Xbox 2.4 territory at that point, so. We all know that this game, or these games, these new studios, are not coming to Xbox One. Or, they will not be mainly focused to be mainly developed on Xbox One. Because with the PC architecture in all these consoles, it is entirely possible that the new games will be backwards compatible with Xbox One. Because they could just run at lower frame rates, resolutions, settings, etc. And then be a little bit better on their... Oh, I see... Uh... A certain law has has changed their YouTube name. I'm I'm surprised you're here. I thought you'd be off playing Yakuza somewhere. That's what all the cool kids are doing these days, isn't it? It's all about the Yakuza. Oh, you know what I just realized? Now that I'm streaming something on my PC again, all my my soundboard stuff works. That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna I'm gonna abuse that one tonight. They need an Xbox One X price cut. That is probably true, Paul. But to be honest, they it goes on sale fairly regularly. But I don't think they would do an overall console price cut yet. I think they might do it when the Xbox 2.4 comes out. Or in the extreme close run-up to Xbox 2.4, they might do it. But I don't think they'll do it just yet. It would be great if they did. I know when I replaced my Xbox One X earlier this year, I've barely fucking played the thing. <laughs> so it's just been sitting there. I, I, I bought it. They, they Microsoft had announced that there was going to be a big Halo Master Chief Collection announcement in two months. That was in January. Then I bought it in February, knowing that that was most likely going to be the PC version of Master Chief Collection. And I've still barely played it anyway. Um... What else do we have? Oh, speaking of which, Halo 5 PC, that's another possible thing I want to see on here tonight. I think if there is any possibility of that, it's just going to be, you know, once we're done with Master Chief Collection, and once we have it in a proper way, shape, and form, we go from there. Uh, your loady console remains unmol unmolested for the night. Well, I mean, the little black box should feel, should feel honored to get a night off. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be, I don't know what else they could, what they could do or they could, they could, they could do or they could have. I'm trying to think of all the, unless they bring back existing franchises that they own, that they haven't done anything with in forever. Hmm. I'm, I'm just trying to think. What else did they... Oh, there's supposed to be a, a tip, a tease, or a, a reveal, or something. A teaser of a possible new Banjo-Kazooie game. Although, I'm not a... a spoiler alert, everyone's going to hate me for this, but I'm not a big fan of Banjo-Kazooie. Believe it or not. Everyone is always, oh, but Q, you know, rare back in those days. Yeah, but doesn't automatically mean everything they make is gold. I love Mario 64, but Donkey Kong 64 and Banjo-Kazooie just didn't really do it for me. Oh, speaking of which, you know what I want to see tonight? A brand new entry in Perfect Dark. And I want to see it done properly. I want to see a good quality game. Now, I'll admit, I have a guilty pleasure out there, which is Perfect Dark Zero. Because of the amount of time and all I spent playing that game when the 360 first launched. I have a special fondness for it. It's so bad it's good, but I have a special special fondness for it. It's it's going to be... And, and funny enough, some of that game was way ahead of its time from a technological standpoint. That's one of the first ever console games. In fact, it might be the first ever console game 
to use parallax occlusion. Everyone's going, oh, Q, what's parallax occlusion? Don't ask, <laughs> but it it's something that's extremely hard to do on consoles and basically didn't exist on the Xbox 360 or PS3. But they did it back in a launch game. Obviously, the performance massively fucking tanked because of it, but still. Uh, what's going on with Sea of Thieves? Did it ever get better? Apparently, it did. Um, sea of Thieves got a massive resurgence at one point. Earlier this year, when they hit the first anniversary of Sea of Thieves, they they put out a, an expansion for it, and it got massive. It had, like, millions of viewers online just out of nowhere. There was... Now, some people reckon it was paid for, but Microsoft came out and said, no, we didn't pay anyone, this, that, and the other. And I did see no sponsored streams or no anything of it. So, apparently, it's it's a salvageable and playable and... What's the word I'm looking for? It's not salvageable. Somethingable, serviceable game now. Apparently, it's really good in that regard. Or at least, it's considerably better than it was. Now, to be honest, right when they when they had that promotion, all I was talking about, there was a, an event on where if someone on your friends list played Sea of Thieves or had it, they could get three friend codes and send it to their friends, and they could download and play it and try it. I got a friend to send me a code. I played. I fucking hated it. That game was awful. I did not like it at all. I only played it for maybe two or three hours, and it was awful. I oh. He still haven't gotten over Alan Wake on the Xbox. That's that's one of my favorite 360 games. That that is easily one of my favorite 360 games. I will always highly recommend Alan Wake. And I'll get to another Alan Wake point now in a second, actually. But um, I love Alan Wake. It's a great 360 game. It was delayed for so long, but it it, tur it came out. It turned out to be a brilliant game. If you play the PC version, which I highly recommend everyone does, it's extremely cheap and it always goes on sale even more. And it's a fantastic game. In fact, many people don't know this, but even though it was a late port to PC, on day one of the PC Steam launch for Alan Wake, what happened was it sold so many copies, it paid for the entire development of the entire game over all those years in one day. Completely destroyed the Xbox 360 sales. Great game, I've played it multiple times, but we, you know, we do what we do. The poet and the mute, well, that's, you know, what can I say? Me and Alan Wake, me and Remedy, me and uh, James McCaffrey, we all just have a, we have a special bond. But speaking of Alan Wake, even though we probably won't see it tonight or for at all in the next few years, Remedy have said that they made a pitch for Alan Wake 2. Now, not the American Nightmare thing, a proper Alan Wake 2 sequel. Microsoft turned it down and they said that they were still opening or they were still open to do it eventually. But Remedy said that if it ever was going to happen, it wouldn't be for at least a few years before they even started it. And they said this fairly recently, so chances are they're going to release Control this year. They already have, well, we know they're releasing Control this year. They probably already have a plan or a, a, an outline or a development plan or roadmap or something for their next game. And then possibly after that, in my opinion, we could see an Alan Wake 2. I hope we see it before that. I don't get me wrong, I hope their next game after Control is Alan Wake 2. And I'll be so happy about that. I, imagine that, Alan Wake 2, because of the focus on lighting in that game, lighting in shadows... Imagine Alan Wake 2 with ray tracing. Boom. You know what? I need to, just just because we're talking ray tracing. Glorious PC Gaming Master Race. There we go. I have to, I have to use these, these sound boards a bit more. Got plenty of them here. What else do we got? What else is there? I think, I think that's it. That's... That's all that could potentially happen in my mind tonight. I'm looking forward to being surprised by some of this. Uh, since the presentation is going to be starting within the next minute or two, obviously with these weird volume levels and all, let me know what's too loud, what's too low. I'm obviously going to try and not talk over them as well. But yeah, it's going to be good. Hopefully we got something. Uh, what do we got here? Let's see, how many good... I, uh, you know what? Beaver, I had one with dinner before I started this, but I do not have one beside me right now. Uh, you need a reason to fire up the Xbox. I've had no reason since... Yeah, the Xbox One has been an absolute mess. Uh, no, Nick, I don't have an RTX card. But by the time 
by uh, you're, you're thinking about getting one, you definitely should. 2080 Ti all the way. But what I was going to say is by the time Alan Wake 2 could potentially come out, I will have an RTX card. S wait. Seven. Six. That's the longest count on ever, by the way. Five. Four. Three. Three. Two. One. And... Kept you waiting, huh? Right, here we go. Let's let's see what Microsoft has. Xbox E3 2019 briefing. So remember, guys, let me know about volume. What needs to go up, what needs to go down. What are they opening with? What's the opening gambit? Is it Forza? Oh, no, it's just Microsoft in general. We got Gears. We have Minecraft. I always forget about Minecraft. It's the, like one of the biggest games in the world, but I always forget about it. We Happy Few. A.K.A. No Man's Bioshock. Hellblade Send was Sacrifice, which I mean to play. Oh god, I forgot State of Decay 2 existed. Ori. Sea of Thieves. More Halo. Yeah, boy. You know, my Xbox One Elite controller is behind me, but I'm not going to go get it. I'm just going to hold it up. Okay. There we go. Let me know how well this one is now. Are we opening with Halo? The corporate model is the oldest and most efficient structure history has ever shown. I, I think this is Outer Worlds. Scheduled scarcity is a premium feature of colonial life. The colony must never lose faith. That is what the board provides. Yeah, I'm almost... in a senseless and chaotic... I'm almost world. certain this is uh, Outer Worlds. This is Halcyon, the furthest colony in the galaxy. Proudly owned and operated by corporations. Oh, don't worry. Everything we have, everything we are. Reach is coming to PC. We owe to them. And just remember, they everyone. Always with us. Right? This this game no is. Has ever gone against them. Not an exclusive game. It's a multi-platform PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. But a stranger has just arrived. Someone who's challenging the corporate war. Oh, there's also rumors of a new Bioshock. Someone who's digging up their secrets. But I still think this is Outer Worlds. Someone who could be a villain. Or a hero. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Here, hope this gun serves you better than it did me. Yeah, this this has to be or Outer Worlds. Oh. It looks exactly like a new version of Fallout New Vegas. Yeah, that looked like Vats. This has to be it. Am I providing refreshments at the interview? I, I am not, Paul. It's not the, that long. So I can't get you there. Yeah, Obsidian, this is it. Oh look, power armor. <laughs> A shrinking gun. I can't wait for this game. I'm going to be playing this game, not day one, because I need to wait a few days for it to get cracked from the Epic Game Store. And then I'll play it. He's welcome from Ninja Theory, Ronnie Tucker, and Dom Matthews. Oh, this, this could be bad. Uh, there's been rumors and leaks about Ninja Theory and their next game, and it's basically free to play mobile trash. So hopefully that's not At E3 true. 2018, we announced that Ninja Theory had joined Xbox Game Studios, a move that has given us an incredible boost in achieving the creative ambition of our teams. We've started work on a number of new games at the studio, and in the near future, we'll be sharing details on all of these projects. When we joined Xbox Game Studios, we already had a very exciting game several years in the making. Well, it was, it's, we're happy to return well, to E3 to share this with you. Not a mobile As game, but... As creative director, has... I'm stoked to be here to share our new game with you guys. 
it combines two of my gaming passions, third-person action combat and competitive team multiplayer. Yeah, it's the four-on-four four game. Technical Alpha is kicking off in just a couple of weeks, and we'd love for you to sign up, get involved, and it's tell us what you think. Or if you're here at E3, come and join us for a game. It's got the really, uh, mobile really monetization level Check stuff. Check it out. This is Bleeding Edge. So this is, the, this is supposedly it. It's like a 4v4 Overwatch, basically. If this is true. Yeah, this is it. This, this is exactly what they showed off. This was, the, this was the leak. And it'll come up now, 4v4. Oh, I was wrong. There it is, 4v4. I don't know how I feel about this. Oh, this is not my kind of game at all. That says it all. No, me neither, Beaver. Me neither. I feel like they have to... <laughs> I was thinking that about the characters when it was scrolling through them individually at the start. I was like, oh, it's got the, the big girl with the purple, or big girl with the pink hair. As well as, like, everyone else. But yeah, I feel like that all these games are sticking to an art style that the Xbox One basically needs to be able to run a game semi-decently. I think this is Ori. It's just a, just a guess, but it looks like Ori. <laughs> you know, I really wish Microsoft... Yeah, Ori and Will of the Wisps. I really wish Microsoft would get a good first... Uh, even if it's third-party exclusive RPG. I was just talking about Lost Odyssey the other day in a video I was recording. And it really... This game actually looks visually much better than I expected. If this is in-game. Oh no, okay, it's not game graphics, that's, that's why. There was the obvious cut. I hear the first one was really good, I just... I just didn't have any interest in it. I don't know if it was bad or not. I just didn't play it. It does look really slick, though. I'm going to say that, given this trailer. Hashtag uh, Ori and Will of the Wisps. I do think that looks kind of cool. Visually, at least. Gameplay doesn't look too bad. I don't know, I might go and play the first one. February 11th, 2020. You are really burning through their games, aren't they? Minecraft 2. <laughs> Minecraft RPG. Oh, I, I wasn't too far off. Is it, it must be, it looks like it's a Minecraft RPG. Like a proper Minecraft story mode, if you will. Not an episodic thing, but... It looks like it would have an actual world, an actual... Oh! Never mind. It's a dungeon crawler. It's a Minecraft dungeon crawler. Minecraft X Diablo? <laughs> Yeah, it's Minecraft Ace Diablo. Oh my god, it's my it's my Diablo 3 warlock. Yeah, Beaver. Yeah. And so far everything shown off everything shown off uh, has had the Xbox One slash PC logo in the bottom corner. And Microsoft have also said that going forward all their games will not only be coming to PC day one as X same as Xbox One, but they'll also be coming to Steam day one as well. 
Minecraft Dungeons. Coming spring. Yeah, see, Xbox One, Windows PC. Four player local co op and online. Yeah, here, now they're going to start talking. About. The head of Xbox, Phil Spencer. And the crowd goes mild. Now, I'm always good at, per at at noticing Phil's shirts. I'm really good at this. So let's see what's going on. Let's see what's up. I can always guess them well in advance on what they mean. I don't recognize that logo. So I don't know what it is. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Uh, Phil. Thank you. Thank you. We on Team Xbox uh, live for this exact moment. The moment we yeah, it, it's a brain with three things around it, but I don't know here with you specifically the logo. And the if it's a studio or a game or something. Breathtaking new stories, new worlds, and new heroes for the very first time. By the way, how many games was that so far? This it moment is Ori, just about Ninja Theory. some new games. It's about discovering your new game. There's two others. The one we just saw, Minecraft, this and decisive moment of discovery the other one is etched that I in forgot. your gaming history. Alongside your every achievement, your every moment, your every new friend. This is why oh, Outer Worlds, we that was on Team That's Xbox four. are always and will be dedicated to unleashing the next new games for you to discover and love. Yeah, he should have been doing this for the last four so years. So whether you're one of the thousands with us here in Microsoft Theater... <laughs> applause. ...or one of the billions around the world who play games, welcome to E3 2019. Is that a pen or a pin this of some right type, type on his, is the his single chest? single most creative and energetic oh, it's a zip. time Never mind. in gaming history. Games and gamers together now have the sheer magnitude to be a significant unifying force for the world. The expanding universe of gaming has opened a new era of creative possibility. With more games, more creators, no, Bieber. and more industry players than that's the, ever before. That's the Epic Game Store with their and Chinese spyware. Everywhere. In under two decades, the number of players in the world has more than tripled. Over two billion of us now play games in every region and on every continent. Come on, Phil, get the and games with new or something. Technological leaps, we get to play whatever we want with whomever we want and wherever we want. Oh, they're, they're going to be cross-play and bringing games to PC and stuff. On Team Xbox, every decision is guided by our belief that gaming is for everyone. My team and I are single-minded in our resolve to bring everyone the games they want, to connect everyone to play with the friends they want, and to empower everyone to play wherever they want. Sorry. He's, he's building up to this kind of stuff. We know what it is. This is why we but... keep innovating hardware and services. It's why we're uniting communities through crossplay, and why, it's why we're investing with new distinctive creators. That's probably the Sony Above partnership. All, gaming is for you. For the streaming thing. This is why we scour the world for your next new games. This today Online is Xbox. the largest showcase of games on any stage anywhere this year oh yeah what a dig just because sony aren't here like we're the biggest one anywhere Today, this year the thousands of games because sony aren't here across xbox one and windows pc we're highlighting 60 games for you including okay, 14, 14 from xbox, xbox game studio game 60 games is a good list though and over 30 games premiering in xbox game pass Console versions ban too many controller colors. In addition to it, showcasing not to mention where the X and A the buttons show, are and stuff. We'll also announce what's next at Xbox Game Studios. Now it says Game Studios. Is that hardware or? Expansive plans for streaming, and of course, There's... revealing more about our next new console. Xbox, Xbox 2.4. 
So thank you for joining us today. Let's jump in. All right, what's first? My jimmies are sufficiently rustled. Please don't let this be a sequel to that other... Oh, no, it's Star Wars. Ready to do this? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's right, Beaver. It could be Age of Empire. They're having the three definitive editions. Hey! Who are you? Hey, that's... Forrest Whitaker. Got a name? Cal Kestis. Sogarero. I'm here on Jedi business. Jedi are dead. Not all of them. I believe... I believe they showed this... Yeah, this off during the E3 thing last night. Uh, EA thing last night. I didn't watch it. Water physics. Now, now imagine how this game looks on PC. Think of it that way. And yeah, Forrest Whitaker's the man. Just watch Ghost Dog. Yeah, Paul, it's like the Xbox One X footage, so it's not PC stuff, that's why. No, we are not doing that again. Or pre-rendered crap. Image quality may depend on your hardware. <laughs> I love that. They actually, at least they put it in the trailer, to be World honest about premiere. it. Okay, new game. New game. First party, third party, what's happening? I'm trying to think, what is, what is Resident Evil? Oh no, it's a, it's a new Outlast game. Or is that new Silent Hills? I want to say new Outlast, but... No, this is... I... Part of me wants to say this is Silent Hill. But part of me also wants to say Outlast, because camera. Wait up, boy! Boy! See, a lot, a lot of it looked very, looked very Silent Hill-esque, but at the same time. I just, that's the Blair Witch. See, his character design and everything there looks a lot like Silent Hill. But obviously everything throughout this looked like Outlast. But uh, for all... Oh, it's a Blair Witch Project. The game. Because I recognize the logo. That actually looks like a decent game. August 30th, though. That's very, very short. That looks good. That looks good. Oh, Cyberpunk. Now... Don't disappoint me. Here we go. I, I need reactions for this. I need reactions. What do we have? This could be really fucking good. This game has the potential to be crazy. As long as you don't play on a console. V, my man. You made it. You blowing up all over the news. Are you alone? I just want the money. You got the chip? 
All right, start her up. Uh, <laughs> Explode big the, the game has potential. We're gonna be with you in a minute. Wow, oh, come on, man. Your neck, it's a mess. While hotel security has yet to comment, we do know the suspect seems to have fled the scene. Yeah, that's not. I want to see some gameplay. I, bel I believe when they talk about it. We're rich. Oh, we are going to the major leagues, Jackie. That they said that there would be gameplay, but not playable. No, 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 no. Okay, get to a clinic now. Mr. Wells' condition is critical. Immediate medical help is required. Just hold on. Hey, hey, just think about all the good shit that we're gonna have, huh? I'm sorry. Of course, the game won't be censored, but it's E3. Welcome to the No Tell Motel. Oh, that this is fitting. His his vision thing. I just was watching Terminator 2 right before this. Just take the f chip decks. Every corporal cop in this city is gonna be blasting down these doors after what you and your psycho friend did. We the didn't problem, need all this Nick, is this is all pre-rendered CG stuff. Hacking him. Cyberpunk. I don't expect this to be out this year. Bang. Oh, they thought he was dead. They abandoned him in the middle of nowhere. Wait the f up, samurai. We have a city to burn. Is that King on the Reeves? What the fuck? That was King on the Reeves. John Wick presents King on the Reeves. Holy shit! Please welcome Keanu Reeves. <laughs> oh, that's good shit. Where is it? Hang on, I got this. Shouty, you the best. You the you the best. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> it's me, John Wick. It's funny. I was, I was wondering, I was thinking if that's going to be a celebrity, but who's it going to be? But I never thought it'd be Neo. I got to talk to you about something. I mean, we got to talk to you about something. CD Project Red. <laughs> Cyberpunk 2077. Keanu Reeves is so hot right now. All right. Norman Reedus. A while back, it's not a Kojima game. The guys from CD Project Red approached me and asked me to be a part of their new project, Cyberpunk 2077. They were going on and on oh, about how went. they'd create this vast open Damn world with a branching storyline. How you'd be able to customize your character through in-game choices. And it's not something I knew before, but I was excited by it. And I'm always drawn to fascinating stories. Yeah. Kept you waiting, huh? Cyberpunk. Good old Keanu Reeves. It's set in a metropolis of the future where body modification has become an obsession. You play as an outlaw, an enhanced mercenary working in the sleazy underbelly of the city. Yeah. 
Yeah. And let me tell you. The feeling of I'm just waiting for to go on John there, Wick. Of walking the streets of the future is really going to be breathtaking. I was thinking that too. I was looking at his shoes. They don't they don't fit. You're breathtaking. You're all breathtaking. All right, all right, all right. So I guess I gotta finish this. So tell me. Do you guys wanna know? Um, when they're coming out? When there's uh, when it, the release date. Yes! No, Keanu Reeves does not age. He's like Benjamin right. Button. Then check this out. Come on. Oh, we got a release yeah. date. Give me them predictions, lads. In the before before it happens. Whoa, hey, easy. Mr. Hansen, I'm taking early no. I'm taking next year. Okay, I'm in. You have gone through to the other side. Let's do this. I don't think it'll be out this year. It's ready when it's ready, yeah. That, that's what they say. Yeah, next year. April. April next year. I did have a feeling, like I said, it would be out next year. I didn't think it would be out this year. It makes sense. And I'm okay with that. They can take all the time they want to make it. And releasing at the start of, like, in the first half of the year is good because it's usually quiet for games. I have no idea what this game is. Oh my god, it's a furry game. No, Beaver, no. <laughs> Before the major gaming season. Shocking. It's like the reverse, it's a, it's like a big indie hipster version of um, Bambi. Reimagined by a furry. I mean, the artwork is really nice. I will say that. It looks really nice. Spiritfarer. Xbox One and PC. I don't know why I said that there. It's always coming to PC and Xbox One. Hello, little that I could buy. Wait. I know this. I can't remember what it is, though. Oh, it's Battletoads. I forgot they showed this, they teased this last year. That's probably what the, the... Oh no, maybe not. There was a... a turbo Tunnel style thing at the intro to... To tonight's presentation. I thought it might have been Battletoads, but... It, it's hard to say, Beaver, because in around April, May is usually when we hear about new GPUs. So, for all we know, we could be seeing the 3000 series in around then. But we could also be not seen until the end of the year. So, it's up to yourself. Oh, it is It is Battletoads. This is the Turbo Tunnel thing from the start that, uh, that I thought might have been it. Oh, this one is Xbox One only. I noticed that one didn't have PC. That's strange. What is this, though? It's a... That's an interesting game for sure. Yeah, it could be, could be the end of 2020, could be 2021. All I know is I'm waiting for the 3000 series to build my next computer. Oh, I got it. It's, it's Critical Role, the game. 
clearly what this is. The Legend of Rife. What's this Daft Punk to game? Well, this is a terrible camera to showcase a game. We can barely see it. Oh, it's the intro to ID at Xbox, no way. A lot of this stuff in the ID at Xbox program doesn't really vibe with me too much. <laughs> Wait, Killer Queen Black hasn't I've heard of that name before. Uh, no, not the Queen song. It's <laughs> what a be contra. Supermarket Shriek just looks like Goat Simulator in a supermarket. Yeah, Beaver, that's one of the big things that never really appealed to me too much about so many indie games. They, There's like four different visual styles for indie games, and, and they're, yeah, like 25% like of them are one type, 25% are another. I'm sure some of them are playable and quality games, but you can't be... I won't fault you or myself or anyone for uh, Please welcome head of being confused by that. Sarah Bond. She comes out, tries to get a pop, but none for her. All the ID at Xbox games you just saw will premiere on Xbox Game Pass day one. And the crowd goes mild. Am I going to be playing Judgment? At Xbox, our passion is to help you find and play the games that you love through creation, curation, and discovery. The ultimate expression of that passion is Xbox Game Pass. I was thinking that about her name. My team travels the globe, seeking out fan favorites and hidden gems and crafts partnerships with their creators so that you can discover your next favorite game. I have to play all the Yakuza games before I can play Judgment. Epic adventures and iconic characters, all for you to explore. It has been awesome to see she has some funky the earrings. breaking success developers have had in Xbox Game Pass, introducing their games to new players and creating lifelong fans. Since launch, we have tripled the number of partners in Game Pass, adding more games from more genres, platformers, RPG, adventure, sports, puzzles, and more every single month. Side note, and I hate it when America is called it genre. It's genre, not genre. Premiere in Game Pass, day one. Genre. We are thrilled They're probably going to talk about the PC and the ultimate version as well tonight. Game Pass on console today, including Batman Arkham Knight, Metro Exodus. Yeah, see, take that, Epic Games. <laughs> Hollow Knight and genre. Borderlands, the handsome collection. Hey, Borderlands! I've only put 200 hours of that into Amazing the last games couple of weeks. That you can start playing today. Yes. Our mission at Xbox is for you to be able to play John era. any game with anyone, anywhere. And we know for many of you that means PC. Where? That is why Glorious PC Gaming Master Race. Last month, we announced Xbox Game Pass for PC. Yeah, this leaked earlier today. Five dollars, four euro, or introductory offer of today, one one pound, one dollar, one euro. Journey on PC today begins. Starting all the stuff available tonight, now, Metro Exodus, blah blah blah. PC players can discover their next favorite game. There you go, Beaver. Xbox game Pass. We have curated over 100 games just for PC, 
including favorites like Emperor Rome and Football Manager 2019. I'm surprised Football Manager was on there. That was that's fairly big. And for the first time on PC, starting with Halo Reach, the entire Master Chief Collection. That's good. That's good. I'm still going to buy the entire thing, so I have it forever. But that's good. That's really big. That's a big win. We are thrilled Glorious to share PC Gaming that Master Race. Xbox Game Pass for PC launches in open beta today. Now they're probably, they're probably going to talk about their new uh, app and stuff. There's a, so there's a new app out there. It's basically the new Xbox app that completely negates the Windows 10 store. Yeah, Gears 5. That's what I'm talking about. Give me some more. And give us some more info on Halo Reach. Wolf 2. Rise of the Tomb Raider. Isn't that the old one? The second one? Shadow of the Tomb Raider is the new one? Oh, that's weird. The the one that was shown earlier Xbox Game Pass had it listed for five. Here now, try it out by downloading the all new Xbox app. There's on the app. Windows. And if you want it all, we have created a membership. Oh yeah, just the for you. Xbox Game Pass Xbox Ultimate. Game Pass Ultimate. See, I'm leaking all this stuff right here. I'm beating them to the punch. You get everything. Xbox Game Pass for console with over 100 great oh, games. Oh, Bethesda E3. Xbox Live you Gold had me confused for a second. Community. No, it's too and late now, at night for me. Xbox I have work Game tomorrow. Pass for PC at no additional charge. Yeah, that's 15 per month, though. Although I was tempted to redo my Xbox Live Gold today. I turned on my Xbox and before this. Because it's E3, and I, I want. everyone can jump in and play today for $1. Like I said earlier. Now go discover your next favorite game. But I yeah, I had my Xbox on earlier and I wanted to play some Halo Fire. Oh, a new world premiere. New games. What are we gonna be? Like, oh it's a it's a first party game. Capture in real time 4K. On a PC. Satellite data and as you Oh, they must be showing off their new stuff. Cloud gaming or streaming gaming or something. Or it could be like Crackdown, and some of the stuff is handled online. What is it, City Skylines or something? GTA? Microsoft Flight Simulator? Yeah, it's actually probably Microsoft Flight Simulator, to be honest. Yeah. Welcome to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now with ray tracing. You're cordially invited, bitch! I haven't played one of these in so long. And I was always terrible at it. I used to crash trying to take off. It looks really good though, visually. I wonder if we'll have VR support. Yeah, that would be kind of slick, actually, wouldn't it? Especially with Microsoft's big focus on HoloLens. Oh, you know me, Nick. I'm I'm number one for a reason. I know all of this stuff. Yeah, the last one that was from 10 years ago, yeah. I will wear that as a badge of honor. Thank you very much. Stunt. That is a badge of honor for me. Do you remember a time when armies were built and powerful cities collapsed? It's Age of Empires now. When the smallest of choices. Now is this is this going to be a new one like they promised, history. or one of the definitive editions? It was an age of 
Empire. Yeah. They've already said that Age of Empires 1, 2, and 3 Definitive Edition are happening. We already know one has been announced, but... I love Age of Empires. I still have, I think, in one of the other rooms, I have my old Age of Empires 1 and 2 CDs that came with my original, very first family computer. PC only. Take that, Xbox. Boom. I mean, this is good. Oh, it'll always be re-released. It, it's, it's a timeless game. You're a donkey's age. Welcome to beautiful Colorado, home to the Purple Mountains Master G of the Rockies. This is Gears. This is I Gears Tactics. Colorful canyons. Get up close and personal with a wild and woolly wild duck. I think. Sample home cooked No, donkeys. maybe not. Eat where the locals eat. Visit Colorado Springs. There's this, so much to see and do. This was this the thing they kind of showed at the start. Although it is an XCOM style game, which is good. Colorado has colorful characters and friendly faces everywhere you look. And a purple-haired dude, because of course. See our beautiful airport. And don't forget to pick yourself up a nifty souvenir. So don't be shy. Colorado's waiting for you. <laughs> first round's on me. Uh, first round's on, on you. Oh, it's Wasteland 3. I forgot there was... that was, They kind of teased the new Wasteland game a little while back. Please welcome head of Xbox Game Studios, Matt Booty. Booty! Oh! Booty like how? Now what's he gonna do? Games are at the good. heart of our mission. Over the last year, we added seven new game development studios to Xbox. Are you gonna tell us what they're working it's on though? It's fantastic to see some this. of these studios already sharing new games on our E3 stage, and there's more to come. I have the privilege of working with some of the best studios around the globe. And for me, great studios are about people, teams, and ideas. Our success comes down to one thing, creating great games that players love. And great games come from great developers. That's why I'm honored today are you going to, to announce, announce more? that joining Xbox more studios? studios is Double Fine Productions. Ah, boom! Hiss. Boo! Double Fine suck. They're massively Fine overrated. It's been a beacon of creativity and Except for maybe Psychonauts. Development for almost 20 years with classic games like Psychonauts, Brutal Legend, and Broken Age. I'm looking forward to Double Fine joining Xbox and seeing what we create together please join me in welcoming the founder and president and before tim schaefer Fine productions tim schaefer i hope he falls off the ledge hey, isn't that guy a thief according to some people Hello. Thank you so much, and thank you, Matt. We are so excited to be joining. Oh, I hate Game his voice. Studios. And I'm here to personally reassure you, Matt. I don't know what you've heard, but I'm a team player. I am Whatever personally here to we'll make for you. Uh, Halo we'll just stuff, assure you that uh, we will not stuff, steal your money. Excel stuff. Whatever you want, we are there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tim, we just want to you to legends. Oh, it's such a relief because I was totally lying. <laughs> In that case, we brought a brand new trailer for Psychonauts 2. Take a look if you dare. New trailer. Also, notice Windows 10 PC there. Windows PC. Oh man, all the Switch and PS4 fanboys are going to be. My name is Rex. Open arms over this. And today is my first official day on the job. We're on a mission. Rasputin? I'm on him. 
Looking for me? <laughs> <laughs> Don't switch. It's got potential for sure. Yeah, the mission is falling apart. We've lost control of Roboto. I put the old egg in the box in the basket. <laughs> you put the lotion on his skin. Or else it gets released on Xbox again. They're they're purposely trying to slight you, teenagers, and by not remaking or making another monkey island. They just think that one dude wants it, so we're not making it. World premiere. We got a new one. Tales of Arise. No. Wait. We've already seen a Star Wars game. Oh, Lego Star Wars. What the fuck? Good old Kylo. Huh? I was not expecting Lego Star Wars. I'm not gonna lie. Online films, one new game. Yeah, I wasn't expecting this at all. <laughs> Coming 2020. Dragon Ball Universe, and I'm sure fan. Oh, from Toriyama, okay. At least it's not Jump Force, am I right? Wait, maybe it is Jump Force. <laughs> oh, Yamcha was taking a break, because he's obviously the strongest. Wait, wait, did he say you're already dead? What kind of game is this? This is so weird looking. Well, they did say it was coming out next year, so it makes sense. Also, Frieza, best DBZ character ever, just, just saying. isn't even my final form. I hope he does it. Go on. Final form us. Do it. Do it. Oh, I forgot they were making an RPG. They're going to change that name to Goku in the West. I can, I can guarantee that. World premiere. Oh, another new game. And a, oh, this is the game you were calling earlier, Paul. An interactive thriller. Sounds like some David Cage stuff. I have a surprise for you. Okay. I'm pregnant. <laughs> you want to guess what it is? It's a Bird control this is an outfit test. for a newborn. You bought it this morning. You wanted to surprise me. I'm sorry. You're pregnant. You know? I'm psychic. I know guys. because you already gave it to me. I'm from the future. This has happened before. What are you talking about? What's going on? Someone is coming. He's going to hurt us. He says you killed your father. I need to know what happened. Why are you doing this? My father died. died of a heart attack? No, I, 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 I didn't have anything to do with... Any second now, he's going to knock on that door. Help me. This isn't happening. This can't be happening. Police, open up. That's him. He's not the police. Did you call the police? We have a warrant. Hang on. Please open the door. I didn't do anything. We're here to help. Don't listen to him. Conversation happens in five months. Open the door right now. 
You know me. Sorry, Paul. I, I'm forbidden you from doing it. Stop. No. It's the new Hitman game. You got punched into next week. You're home. What are you doing? Or last week. Are you okay? <sighs> I'm telling you, it's a new Hitman game. See? <laughs> That's kind of cool. It's an interactive trailer about a man trapped in a time loop. Yeah, that, that's kind of... That's really interesting. I'm going to keep my eye on that one. World premiere? No. Bambi. Oh, guys, it's 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 Life is Strange too, except instead of wolves, they're deer. It's the new Age of Kami. I do really like the music, though. A Resident Evil game with deer. Resident. Durable. You know what? This one's for you, Nick. You know my motto. I deliver. Gears 5, baby. This is what I'm talking about. Give me that Laura Bailey. I will say this though, the trailer art for this game is absolutely awful. Not trailer art, the box art and posters and stuff. Also, because this is Gears, it seems like no one understood the ending of Gears 4. What are these people on about? There's a super big thing that you should have understood after four games. That you probably understand from this trailer right now. And if you don't, stop playing Gears and start paying attention. I can't wait for Gears 5 though, this, this game is going to be crazy. There it is. The logo. Give us some gameplay. Ah, uh, Down by blood. So I'm not going to... From the Coalition, please welcome studio head... <laughs> no, Beaver, Beaver. Beaver, it, it's called Chest High Wall Simulator, not Crouch and Fire Simulator. No, don't worry, Paul. I wasn't going to say everyone. anything about it. We're excited to announce that Gears 5 is releasing on September 10th. Oh, that's fair. There's, there's the artwork. I hate that. That artwork is terrible. It, should be ashamed and if you of itself. Play four days early, you can on Game Pass. Ultimate Edition or membership in the newly announced Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Okay, well, it depends on what's included in the Ultimate Edition if I buy it or not. With Gears of War 4, we wanted to earn your trust. But with Gears 5, we want to push the envelope by doing new things never seen in a Gears game before. And we'll tell you all about it this summer. In July, join us for our versus multiplayer tech test where you'll be one of the first to play our all no, I, new competitive game type give me a, arcade give me a horde in august at test. gamescom go hands-on with the all new horde mode and see how character abilities yeah, there we can go. turn the tide on the battlefield in september we return to the biggest gears campaign ever where we'll explore more of kate's harrowing journey 
and celebrate our launch oh. on September 10th. Now, don't get me wrong, teenagers. I'm definitely buying it. I just don't today. know if I'm buying the Ultimate Edition today, or not. Depends on what's included. It's a brand new way to fight the swarm. In Escape, you play as one of three hive busters. You and your squad infiltrate the hive, plant the bomb, and escape with your life. Because we all know that, that best defense is a good offense. Is that co-op? It's everything you love about Gears turned up to 11. But yeah, I, I think they're, they're going to show it now at least. This is kind of cringe, not gonna lie. I can't comment, Nick, because spoilers and stuff. Microsoft really going hard on gears at the moment. <laughs> yeah, well, The Undertaker just came back, so now Kane has to come back too. Everything except the need for revenge. Everything except the need this for speed. This like a surrender, but it's not. It's an invasion. Oh, so they found out a way to kind of fight back from the inside of the Snatchers. Oh, it's the DBs. I forgot about that. Right, since this launches in September, Paul, you have a couple of months to... You've got July, August, September. You've got three months to play four games. You can do it. Now, where's my Marcus Phoenix? Where's my coal train? That song sounds really familiar. And the flute man. He's like some super high level like Japanese master at that that instrument. John. <laughs> well, may maybe the original sample is Ozzy. I just know the, the weird little... It's mixed like four or five popular songs all together. So this is escape that are showing anything like that. Unfortunately, we have no gameplay. But I always appreciate a good Lancer kill. I hope you enjoyed your taste of escape, an aggressive three-player co-op experience perfect for your living room couch. But it's not just about busting hives. You can build them too and challenge your friends with the experiences you create. So what? And tonight, on join me on Mixer base. as we challenge these three WWE superstars, Xavier Woods, AJ Styles, and Tyler Breeze to survive a gameplay deep dive from right here in There's the There's some hive. more WWE right for there. For at home, for the next two days, you and your friends can play in select Microsoft stores. So good luck out running the swarm. And I we'll love how there's just the a green exit oh, sign in the background. Who pre-orders or plays within the first week? We've got something special just for you. Which is is that a Terminator skin? No way! Is that a fucking Terminator egg no or exoskeleton? It fucking is. 
I started watching Terminator 2 before this. The Terminator Dark Fate Pack. I was watching Terminator 2 before this fucking presentation. Oh, it's got a Lancer. Oh, I don't think this gets any- as Dark Fate is supposed to be a load of shit. But I don't care. I'm pretty sure I just popped a chub right now. It's... Oh, that's so good. That was... This is Forza. This is how they always introduce Forza. Or maybe not. Oh, Paul, you're right. You're right. Elite 2.0. Yeah, Paul. The problem with uh, with the these end of X end of gen Xbox games is they still have to work on base Xbox One, so they're still held all the way back. Uh, n kind of Jordan. Hand of hand of uh, handful of. Good things. You know what? One second. Does this count as me having an Xbox 2.0 controller at least thingy? Microsoft, hook your boy up. Now I don't remember which one is which. But you know what? I do. This is my PC one, there's no battery in it. Oh, Dying Light 2. Good time to come back. When my father saved my life, he told me never to forget who I am, where I come from. I can't tell if that's Troy Baker or Roger Craig Smith. But in this place, nobody even wants to know my name. Getting attached is deadly. Yeah, they're completely obsolete and outdated now, Beaver. I have to throw them out. I might be gone. It's 2.0 rechargeable. I didn't notice. I was I turned around and missed some of it. The virus tore society apart, but I won't let it turn me into an animal. Yeah, that doesn't sound like Roger Craig Smith. Staying alive became the essence yeah, of our Yeah, yeah, Troy. It sounds a lot more like Troy. More than just survival. Every day, the disease tries to crush us. You know what I'll do? Forget who I'm gonna see are, Troy Baker in two weeks. I'll ask him in Dublin fighting. if this was him. My name is Aiden, and I am infected. <laughs> My name is Aiden Pierce, and I am dead sick. Oh, at least it has a release date ish. Release window. 2020. Spring 2020. World premiere. Here we go. Something good. It's first party. Oh, it's Forza. They love their cars, don't they? They always love bringing this stuff out. They wonder if he'd be wearing a scarf indoors. Well, you know what? I mean, you know what I'm gonna do? Let me just move that. I'm gonna look at my pictures of Troy Baker to see if he was wearing a scarf indoors. I have 10 pictures of him and he's not wearing a scarf in any of them. Oh wait, I make you wrong. No, no scarf. Wait, is that a Lego world? Did I just look back and that was a Lego world? <laughs> I mean, I guess it makes sense that they're doing something new. One of the previous ones had Halo in it. So I'm just waiting for Star Wars and this.
Everything is awesome. Isn't that that Lego song that everyone loves? Oh, it's an expansion. Okay. The Lego Speed expansion. Please welcome Ralph Fulton. Oh, it's a giant Lego car. Okay. Combine McLaren's passion for design with about half a million of Lego's legendary bricks. You get this incredible life-sized Lego Speed Champions McLaren Senna. <laughs> this is actually kind of cool. Combine Let's... the beauty and freedom of Horizon with the playful fun of Lego. You get the Forza Horizon 4 Lego Speed Champions expansion. I wonder if you can build you stuff in the world. You Senna and more Lego Speed Champions cars in an entirely new world, packed with inventive new challenges, new areas to explore, and loads of bricks to smash. The Forza Horizon 4 LEGO Speed Champions expansion launches this week. I'll see you there. I hate, I hate when they say Forza. Oh, gear, here we go. Surprise, motherfucker. Just comes out of nowhere. This one doesn't do it for me. Although this, this leads me to believe that they're going to show off Gears tactics right after this. It's a trap! I love how it had a frag grenade stuck to it. Yeah, Jordan. It was it was announced last year, and unfortunately, it's still a thing. I will not be trying that game, but this one I probably will be. No, never mind. It's not what I thought it was. Boo this game! A brand new story experience for the seven people still playing the game. My mission. Find the father I never knew. My mission, find a hero I've never met. He hasn't radioed in days. He hasn't been seen since the outbreak. The last time I heard his voice. The last place he was seen was in Trumbull Valley. Yeah, it's, it's just expansion territory for first party stuff. I've only heard whispers. Here, uh, Beaver. I've only heard legend. Of unseen horrors. For some of it, anyway. Here, we are the many. Here, we can become stronger. But well, don't forget, they did say that they're For going so to outline. I was just surviving. Hopefully, they now said their future. So everyone's hoping Xbox 2.4. This is where my story could. Also, end. those graphics are awful. This is where my story could begin. I thought we had seen everything. Get that ass cued. We ain't seen nothing yet. Our biggest expansion yet, it's also their only expansion. As far as I'm aware. Notice how, like, no one cares. There's like seven World people clapping. Premiere. World premiere. Sega. What could it be? Sega. For the very first time. Fantasy Star. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Is it Fantasy Star Online 2? I've spent. If this is what I think it is, I've spent. 
my desk is like rising about seven inches right now. Oh, they did it. Oh. He's a madman. A madman. I've only been waiting for this for five fucking years. Maybe even more. I need memes for this. It's it. It is, it's it. Finally! And it's on PC! Yes! They did it! Those of you who have played <laughs> Fantasy Star know that this game had influenced many of it's, the most popular games It's today. been out for years so in Asia, delight, teenagers. We welcome Sega back to our stage and Fantasy Star back on Xbox. You can play this game without, with all the, the cosmetics or all the, the microtransactions and all in it. As you can said, buy them all without, or you can play them it all the properly without buying any. Games. Meeting with developers, I can't wait for that. Games, and introducing you to their games these are the best parts of my job. We still have about back at E3 20, 30 minutes to go. When I first met with the creators of this next game, probably Nick, they shared their ambition to bring their massively popular game with its passionate community of 650 million PC players to the entire world. League? I'm happy to announce our partnership with the legendary team at Smilegate. Never Their heard of approach them. approach to game design demonstrates sheer creative boldness. Next year, you'll discover the newest entry in this landmark franchise. On console, for the very first time, only on Xbox. This is Crossfire X. What the fuck is Ooh, Crossfire X? Yeah. I don't know the developer. I don't know... What the fuck Crossfire X is? Yeah, no, no one, none of us have any idea. You know what? I'm in the dark here. That's how I feel about this. I have no idea what this is. First the console on Xbox One. I love how they just try to come up with all these terms. You know, console exclusive, which means yeah, it's still multi-platform. Just remember, it's so legendary that none of us have an idea what this is. Still waiting on a... something. You know what? Uh, one of my friends just sent me a text said Fantasy Star uh, Online 2 coming west. <laughs> I know, I'm watching. I'm... I still have no idea what this game is though, it makes no sense. I was going to Google it, but... It, it can't be mercenaries because I, I was thinking that during some of the scenes in that too, but World mer mercenaries premiere. isn't that big, and they were saying you know six hundred and fifty million. What's this? Death? No. Oh, it's tails. Now this this is what this is my shit. Tales of tales of arise. This is what I want. Graphical change is very, very different from what we're used to. 
it only took them the entire generation to not make a previous gen game. Waifu confirmed. Already. It's almost like they're trying to rip off Xenoblade Chronicles 2, but possibly make a good game instead. Oh, the combat looks very different. I'm hoping it's Beast, though. Tales of Arise. Joke's on you, Bieber. That's the one platform that's not getting it. Get Shrekt. You people. Xbox One and Windows PC. I hope it's good. I love the Tales games. I have... Borderlands. Sirens in the universe. Three of them are I dead. Used to be one of them. Used to? My name is Lilith. Used to? And I need you. Not actual gameplay. Of course it's not, because it's not chugging along on an Xbox. This, this might be my guy. I see a sniper rifle. The Beastmaster. Nope. I'll automatically can't do that. The Operative. I'm liking the Operative. Operatives might be my jam. Oh, we got a Siren again. Shoot. Loot. And... Make it rain! <laughs> Claptrap still can't do anything with stairs. Hammerlock. Oh, my boy, the chest. He's still back. When you made it rain, I was like, damn! Oh, they, they blacked it out. This one's for Lilith. Borderlands. Can't wait to play that next year. But wait. Oh, here's the DLC announcement. No. Wait. Okay, maybe not. Oh, maybe. Yeah. All new Borderlands 2 adventure. Fight for sight. Setting the stage for Borderlands 3. Download now. Right. Teenagers. Beaver. We're fucking playing this tonight, right? This is, it's going down. It's going down World after premiere. this. Get on that download right now. Now what's this? It looks like a Tomb Raider game or something. Oh no, it's the new Dark Souls or From Software slash George R. R. Mar yeah, game. Your Steam just queued an update. You know what, guys? I am going to have to. I doubt you could even imagine it. I'm gonna give it a second. It's Ned Stark. That which commanded the stars, giving life its fullest brilliance. The Elden Ring. Oh, Elden Ring. That chick has one arm. Shattered by someone or something. Tell me you don't see it. 
Sephiroth. Look up at the sky. It burns. Elden Ring. I can't really comment on it. It's a Dank Souls game. I've never played it. Never played any of them. I will play Dank Souls 3 coming soon. But... Uh, people will lose their shit over this game. <laughs> people are probably alright. People are losing their shit in this game. I can just see it in chat. It's fine. Please welcome back Phil Spencer. From multinational studios to one person passion project. Of course, it's coming to Windows. Thousands so. of Xbox games they are in are. development for you right now. Just today, we showed you 60 games. We are now experiencing an unmatched expansion of creativity on Xbox. Gaming for you means connecting all of these creators to all of you. Don't worry, Stunt. Last fall, I'm we announced our ambition. Going to, to play. empower everyone, everywhere to play. Thanks, old tree. By bringing Xbox to the cloud. 100% blind we playthrough live stream. In two ways, through Project X Cloud, and through console streaming. Two months ago, we connected all Xbox developers to Project X Cloud. Today, we invite those of you here at E3. For our first public hands-on of Project X Cloud. Many people are looking forward to it, don't worry. <laughs> to experience the freedom to play right here at the show. And you'll have two ways to stream. Oh boy, cloud gaming. There's a new platform feature, console streaming. It turns your Xbox One into your own personal and free X Cloud server. Whether you're using a console in our data center or your console at home, this October, you'll be able to use our hybrid gaming cloud to play your games wherever you go. DLC for Borderlands is 438 MB. That's pretty small. now entirely your choice. You decide. So let's talk about our next console. Yes! I'll be playing a lot of Halo Reach, don't you worry, and all Master Chief Collection. So let's see, us, new console. The console is vital and central to our experience. We heard you. They want a power. The console should be designed and built and optimized for one thing and one thing only, power. gaming. Okay, gaming. So or they're, they're not making the mistake of so the, the Xbox same One. the team that created the world's most powerful console, Xbox One X, and innovated its groundbreaking processor and the elite controller. Forget the, the forget the processor. That That's terrible. We don't want that. World class that. compatibility of today's Xbox One consoles. The same team that set the bar for live gaming services with Xbox Live. This same team set out on a new mission to create the future of gaming for you. Come on, tell us more. When we think about the future of gaming. It's not just PC. Yes, it's not just console, it is just PC, it's just bitch. Mobile. It's really all of the. She's above. right. Xbox is all about choice. We're investing in technology all throughout the game stack. The games you want with the people you want on the devices that you want. And for us, that starts with our next generation console. We don't want to build just another console. We truly want it to be transformed. That's a terrible beard. More immersion, more exploration. Hey, isn't that the chick who makes that crap TV easier show? For people to get into the game, to stay in the game. One of the things that gamers and developers are incredibly excited about is reducing load times. I'm an RPG gamer, and so like loading screens are a thing. You're sitting there. No, loading screens elevator. are not a thing if you're playing on PC. In the background, it's just an elevator ride forever. That's our goal with gaming: is that you don't have those pauses. This generation is going to be a bigger leap than any generation we've done before. It's funny that Mikey Ibarra talks all about that. Console 
is our custom design processor, leveraging the latest Zen 2 and Navi technology from our partners at AMD. So it's the same from as the PS5. From a processing perspective, this is four times more powerful than the Xbox One X. We're leveraging high bandwidth GDDR6 to ensure that we're getting the best performance possible. It's gonna usher in resolution and frame rates that we've never seen before. No. Like, never seen before. That you've never seen on console. Up to 120 frames per second. 8K capability. So, variable refresh rate. 120 frames per latency. second. That's. It's real time because it's hardware accelerated. This is running at 144 right now. You fucking lie, Microsoft. We've created a new generation of SSDs. We're actually using the SSD as virtual RAM. We're seeing more than 40 times performance increases over the current generation. The combination of the SOC and the solid state drive are really what gives you a totally new experience. Now we can take all of that power and apply it back into the scene. So we can actually generate more life in that world and bring it to the gamer in a seamless way. So that then you're fully experiencing what the game is. What can I say? You know, when you can move through worlds without waiting for screens I'm... to low, that speed <laughs> performance is what the next generation is about. This is the most immersive well, console. I don't know. I, I can't get words out. I mean, yes, I'm so smug about it because they're talking bullshit. It's like when they announced the Xbox One X and said the highest quality pixels. There's no difference in a fucking pixel. And that, if you go back and watch that, when they uploaded that video, the uh, highest quality pixel thing was removed from the trailer or from the opening. At 343, for us, it's always about more seamless world. Oh, yeah, I fucking the love it. I, I love destroying life in a way all their, their console before. marketing bullshit. I'm fucking smart about this. generations of content better than you've ever seen them before. This console is especially awesome for Game Pass members. With the faster load times, you're going to be able to experience all the games within just a snap of your fingers. We are giving gamers the option to connect across devices and across platforms. You, you can you can play all those games from all those generations like just like that. Launch. Just like PC has been doing for 40 fucking years. Your achievements, your 20 years. Your accessories, your console gaming experience with Xbox, it all comes forward with Scarlet. Project Scarlet. It eats monsters for breakfast. And yes, you're you're dead right, Nick. Forty percent over Xbox this One is, is a fucking Scarlet. red flag all over the place. The most powerful and highest performing console we've ever designed, built for creators to unleash their boldest creative visions, and optimized for players to enjoy the ultimate gaming experience on a console anywhere play yakuza 3 okay i have a ps3 for that begin or ps4 whenever remaster comes out at the silicon level itself together with our partners at amd we have co-engineered soon when it gets re-released on pc state-of-the-art processor for project scarlet okay it's still navi based which is good uh it's still uh ryzen third series Power based which is good hopefully it's not a piece of shit generations Power and performance you can see and feel defines Project Scarlet. When we talk about freedom to play, when we talk about Xbox in the cloud, <laughs> you can't do a when we yeah, talk very about few streaming your games, little tiny ones. Project Scarlet and all of its power and all of its performance is the foundation of our future in console and the formation of our future in cloud. They're we just, launched Xbox. Their marketing is just ago, so with a game reviewers called the definitive reason to own an Xbox. Yeah, Halo Combat Evolved. It's one of the best first person shooters ever made. And is worth saving. Next holiday, we will launch Project Scarlet with Halo. There's Halo Infinite. We all knew it was happening. PC, Xbox One, Xbox 2.4, day one. I can't wait for Last of Us Part 2 actually. I really hope this isn't Halo though. I have a feeling this is an Aliens game or Alien. Maybe Isolation 2 or something.
360 no scope, like a true Xbox gamer. Daddy's listening. Can you say hi? Hi. And how big are you? I'm baby. Can you tell Daddy how big you are? Are you so big? So big. Yeah, it was, it was a terrible <laughs> oversell on the fall. Good singing. How about I miss you? Miss you. And I love you. I love you. I love you, Daddy. I love you, Daddy. And I can't wait to see you. Can you say see you? I can't see, see the logo. Okay, then. Bye -bye. Oh, wait. Is he like Bye -bye. stuck in space for 20 years or something? He aged a shitload and grew a beard. So I'm assuming he's stuck in space for the longest of time. And now he's finally been rescued. I'm pretty sure that that has been made into a sci-fi movie. This is UNSC Pelican Echo Two Six. Oh, it is a Halo game. UNSC. This is UNSC. Oh shit! It's Chief. Why is he there though? After Halo Five. It doesn't really make sense. Looks like the main power cells are fried. Auto shut down. Triggering survival mode. He's still in there. He's just gonna wake up. Try to override. It's definitely chief. Not only does it look like him, okay. but you can see 117. Dirt, you can dirt. Hear me in there. Come on, wake him up. I hope you're ready. Please don't die. Please. Don't. Oh, the the shield, the, yes. the shield sound effect. Yes, yes. we're going home. <laughs> oh, welcome back, Chief. I rerouted what little power I had into your suit. Hmm. Looks like there's a problem with the servos in your hands. Stay calm. You've been out there a while. No, oh, Cortana's movie. missing from her chip. Hey, I not detected. Yeah, Cortana. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy there, big guy. You're not. Status report. Status report? What? There's something you need to see, Chief. Yeah, he's probably been out there for so long. Like, uh, after Halo 3. We lost. Lost everything. There's nothing left for us here. Oh, rip the ring. I don't think over here is. No, no, no. Not then. Not again. We need to run. RTX Cortana. No. We need a fight. The music's gonna kick in. That's that's Get the beat. Ready. Is this gonna be gameplay? Are we getting gameplay? Oh no! I was expecting gameplay. Holiday 2020. Even though Halo 5 was a massive disappointment, the legendary ending of Halo 5 set up Halo 6 or Infinite for a fantastic story as long as they don't fuck it up. I knew we would be perfect together. And I was right. Ah, oh, no gameplay. Blue balls.
Oh, okay. So it must be over. This must be their sizzle reel to close out the show. I don't think they showed anything Sea of Thieves sure not, did they? Except for like right there. So Tails, Fantasy Star, Halo, Gears, uh, Outer World, Cyberpunk. That's six games that are off the chain already. That I'm mad hyped for. Uh, the Bethesda one is in a few hours, but I won't be streaming that because it'll be too late and I got to get in some Borderlands DLC tonight Also, they didn't show Gears Tactics, which I'm kind of a little bit disappointed about Oh, and Project Scarlet as well, they t since they finally talked about that. Where's the gameplay, Chief? Where's the gameplay? Oh, no gameplay. Sad face. Thank you for watching the Xbox E3 2019 briefing. Video on demand will be available shortly. Watch the Gears 5 World Gameplay premiere at Mixer.com slash Gears of War. That's when they were playing against the, the three wrestlers. Now, let me minimize this bad boy. Actually, you know what? Because it'll just be playing in the background. Oh, there's Discord. That's not supposed to be open. So... I'm gonna download. The, <laughs> I'm gonna download the DLC while uh, while we talk about this. So Xbox Xbox conference. Here's this is my Borderlands DLC. Yes, it is. Xbox conference. What do we talk about for for Xbox Cyberpunk pre purchase fifty nine ninety nine already? I might do that later. <sighs> what do we talk about for? from Microsoft. It was definitely a strong show for most part. I will say there was, it did feel like there were a couple of top tier AAA reveals that could have boosted the line a little bit. I noticed that a lot of the stuff we saw a big name we already knew about. Some of the, the other stuff that we saw is second tier. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely love the idea of Fantasy Star Universe, Fantasy Star Online 2 coming as well as Tales of Arise. I am going to love that, absolutely. But, I mean, think, let me, I, I hate to make the obvious comparison, but let's look back to last year at the Sony conference. Resident Evil 2 Remake, that was a big announcement. And obviously, the game, or was that last, I think it was last year. You see my point, there was no huge third-party release or announcement in that regard, which it could have benefited from, because we had a lot of, or we had a, a handful of big, xbox stuff but where's the support from everyone else indie games they don't do it for me let me i'm not gonna boot up borderlands now don't worry where are we oh steam come on there we go um what else do we have outer worlds looks good it looks like a proper upgraded version of fallout new vegas uh, I can't wait to play it a few days after it's cracked from the Epic Game Store. Um, Borderlands 3 is Borderlands 3. I have extremely mixed feelings on that game. The game looks fantastic, but... who lad. Um, what else do we have? Tales of Rise looks great. Can't wait to play it. Hopefully it's really good. Uh, Halo Infinite. I don't know what to say about Halo Infinite. We still don't know anything. The... The, the what could have been a big gap or big jump the little bit of story we had in there was completely piecemeal and with jumps and travel in time or flashbacks or whatever flash forwards mm. but the biggest problem this is something i talked about a few days ago if not a week or two ago the biggest problem i had with microsoft's xbox conference although back then it was the potential conference is 
none of this gives you a reason to buy Xbox, which is a big problem for Project Scarlet. I said it in one of the podcasts at one of the weekends. I think it was not yesterday, but I believe it was the last week's one. None of this gives you a reason to buy an Xbox because you can get all of this on PC or almost all of this on a PS4. That's a problem. That is a problem. See what else we got. Yeah, exactly, Paul. Exactly. Exactly. You pretty much were just saying what I was saying. It's exactly the mark. None of it is a massive next-gen setter. Because you can all get it in better ways, shapes, and forms on PC. So, oh yeah, of course, Beaver, they will still sell. Because not everyone wants the game on PC. I'm not saying that, but the people who want to own a game on a console will buy... The people who want those games but want to play on a console will buy the new Xbox instead of the new PS4 if, if they're exclusive, like, say, Gears and Halo and stuff like that. But in theory, the, the bigger problem is that they're not exclusive. So that's the way I look at it. That's the way I look at it. I mean, look at look at the Sony games, for example. If you want to play Uncharted, if you want to play The Last of Us, if you want to play God of War, if you want to play Spider-Man, there's a bunch of other games that I don't play that are well big, received Horizon Zero Dawn and stuff. You literally have to buy a PlayStation to play them. There, There's no option. On, on the Xbox stuff, there is the option. And people can move away from the Xbox in theory. So that's a big problem I have with that. But a lot of what we saw was good. Ugh, I'm very tired after all that. Because crashing, no sugar, man. What's going on? Um, that's really it. We talked about everything that was on there. Project Scarlet. It still remains to be seen because here's the big problem with Xbox. Not many people remember this, but if you Google it, you can find all the articles from way, way back then, right? Back in 2013, about six months before, not even six months, even like two months before the Xbox One and PS4 launched, you had websites. Highly reputable websites, at least anyway, because, well, a lot of games journalism, am I right? They did the exact same thing that's happening right now with the Project Scarlet and the PS5. They said at the time that even a high-end gaming PC will take about five years to come close to the PS4 and Xbox One. My 2012 PC, from a year before those consoles even existed has still performed better than them in every way, shape, and form, in every single game, except one. Literally one game, that game being Doom, because there's a very specific issue with my old graphics card. Not this one. This one beast modes everything. This is going to... Dis- this, what I have will probably even destroy a fucking PS5 and Xbox 2.4. But you know, just everyone temper your expectations in that regard. It's going to be the same thing all over again. Remember when Microsoft said, 4K this, 60 frames per second that, world's most powerful console, and then you look at the Division 2. It runs a native 4K, 24 frames per second, lower than lowest quality settings. They're talking about all this good stuff. They're talking unseen frame rates. I'm running 144 FPS right now. I run my games at that. And they look better than existing console games. And at a higher resolution. Just remember it. right? I'm, I'm not using it to bash the Xbox. I'm not using it to bash the PlayStation. I'm just giving examples why it's marketing. It's all their marketing. And you have to be careful. Right? You have to just realize that. It's easy to get swept up in the hype. And <laughs> Yeah, Nick. Uh, 1080. Let's see. Uh, console gamers will move back to PC. The end of crypto mining gives more reason. Well, we, have to, we still have to see because... 10 series cards are still all over the place in price because they're no longer manufactured and with 20 series cards being too expensive for the majority of people uh, it's still in a very weird place uh let me see uh am i alleging that i i have no comment on on phil spencer and his selling of snake oil i believe that through creative marketing and creative research and metrics they are able to do what they say or believe what they say in any way, shape, or form. But let's be real. Right? You ready? I'm, I'm going to break it down for you, right? These companies will lie to you 
these companies will do and say whatever they need to do just to sell you on that. Now, when you get those boxes, when you get that black Project Scarlet box, it's not going to be anywhere near as good as a current, at the time at least anyway, mid-range, let alone high-end PC. There are PC monitors out there and PC games that run at over 240 frames per second. Think about that. And then these people are talking about their 120, for 120 hertz. Remember, by the way, remember, these, these are people, these are companies that previously said, Phil Spencer, Call of Duty Ghosts, the start of the Xbox One generation, right? Because of Resolution Gate. Phil Spencer specifically said, performance is more important than resolution. Then when the Xbox One X was coming out, resolution is more important than performance. I've said it in multiple, 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 multiple videos over all these years that you could mark my words. As soon as they say they can reliably hit 60 or higher frames per second, they will market that as the best thing a sliced bread and suddenly performance matters. What do we have with the announcement of the Xbox Scarlet? Suddenly performance and frame rate matters. If I had a microphone that wasn't on a stand, I'd drop it. But it is on a stand, so I can't. You know what? I'm sure I have a reaction for this anyway. You know what? Here we go. Ultra! 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 That's only appropriate. Right there. <sighs> Having said all that, I would probably buy an Xbox Scarlet Day 1. Because it's what I do. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it just yet. I don't know how to feel about it just yet. It's... See, he also said that single-player games are not important. Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I remember when he was saying that single-player games weren't a big focus and not viable and not important. And then, of course, they went on to release Sea of Thieves. They went on to release State of Decay 2, Crackdown. Yeah, that says it all. You know what? Just while we're here, I'm going to have a quick look around Steam just for... Se oh, look, Cyberpunk right on the front right there. Pre-purchase now. I'm not going to pre-purchase it, but I do want to see what's available. Get ready. For Keanu Reeves. I will add it to my wish list, however. Where am I? Add to wish list. What else was on there? Outer Worlds isn't on there. Well, that's already on my Steam wish list. What other ones did we have? Was that, oh, oh, Nick, that is oh, Nick, baby, what is you doing? How, how can you say that in public? Oh, that is rough, son. What else was it? Let's see if Fantasy Star is on here. You know, it would help if I spelled it right, wouldn't it? Fantasy Star is not up here just yet. What else was on there? There was another game shown off tonight. Oh, let's take a look at Tales of Arise. This one is not up yet. You know, I won't worry about it later. Anyway. We'll, we'll worry about that later at some other point. Let's look at my wish list just while we talk a bit more about Xbox. Because naturally, Master Chief Collection is number one. Oh, by the way, if anyone's wondering why Octopath Traveler is in my, my list, it's not why you think. It's because I want to laugh at it. This is my easy way. Watch. Click. Click. Laugh. That's how I laugh at that. But anyway, that's, um, well, uh, Nick, you're entitled to your opinion. That's the way I always look at it. I, I disagree, but, I mean, when you think about it, this one is clearly the best Zelda game ever made. Obviously. But that's really it. Um, I'm looking forward to a bunch of the games in there. The, oh, you know what, let's look at, let's see if Gears of War is on here. Gears of War is not added yet. Let's see if it's on the Windows 10 store. Windows 10 store does not wish to work. Oh, didn't they say that the new app was available? What's the new Xbox app? 
I know this is the updated console companion. Maybe it downloads through here. N no. Let's try one more time. No, I think that's it. I think that's where we're going to be. But anyway, meme and aside from everything, I, all uh, the good stuff we talked about, Jordan, it's not all the good stuff that was showing off, my opinions on it and all. As always, this is why I have everything. This is why I game on everything. I don't want to miss a game just because it's on a certain platform or whatever. You just can't. <laughs> well, secret, you, you just missed it. And by just missed it, I mean you spent the last two hours and ten minutes missing the entire presentation. Did I enjoy it, though? Um, for the most part. For the most part, there was some decent games, some decent reveals, some increased stuff that we'd already seen. Big stuff like... Wait, you know, this is blind to me. There we go. Uh, big stuff along the lines of the Outer Worlds. They show that off. That looked good. The Halo, we didn't see anything more about. Gears of War, we didn't really see anything more about. Some other good stuff too. Cyberpunk. <sighs> Cyberpunk's going to be great. You know what? Let me move that up my wish list while I'm while I'm here. Cyberpunk, you go all the way up to number three, just because I clicked it again. Let's see what anyone says in here. Is this garbage like Rage 2? This Buddhist man, Buddhist man, that's all I can say. But that's basically it. Uh, we've pretty much said everything we need to say. Um, be hesitant and be logical uh, about anything anyone sees for marketing for the new consoles. Some of it could be true, but chances are a lot of it is overblown in some way, shape, or form. After all, what's the point in getting 120 frames per second if you're running stuff at lower than lowest quality settings at 1080p? Am I right? So always remain skeptical about that. Naturally, feel free to ask me about it. I know lots about hardware and technology, so... We can see how that goes. Anyway, we might as well leave it here because there's not much left to say about all of this. We covered everything several times over at this point, And now, well, I feel like I'm just killing a little bit of time and beating a dead horse. But don't tish for those of you out there who get that. Anyway, as always, thanks everyone for watching, shooting the shit with me, checking out the stream, the, the Microsoft one. Unfortunately, I won't be able to stream any other of the conferences or anything like that. Over the next couple of days, though, I will be watching them myself in my spare time, and I'll be recording a video about them. I might record it like live as I watch it. I don't know yet, and then I'll put that up if you're interested in checking out that way in any way, shape, or form. One second here. Well, what can I say, Nick? You know, I'm 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 the king. Of, of course, that's why. So yes, as always, thank everyone for watching me, hanging out, shooting the shit with me, being badasses as always. I could sit here, watch this stuff for myself, talk about it by myself, whatever it is. But naturally, hanging out with everyone, back and forth, observations all over the place, comments, opinions. That's why I do this. So naturally, thank every single one of you. That's not prayer hands for those of you who's going to say that. But that's uh, it is what it is. Anyway, as as always, we're going to do the... We're going to get a little bit of a secret just before we go. So naturally, I want to remind everyone that winners don't play Switch ports. Boom.